So here are the stats after using both block strap and void strap with the best fast flags, and the results might surprise you. In this video, I'll show you which launcher actually gives more FPS, fixes lag, and lowers ping in Roblox 2025. We'll test both tools step by step so you can see the difference for yourself. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the video. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Clear temporary files to free up space. The first thing we need to do is clean up your PC by deleting temporary files. To do this, press Windows plus R on your keyboard at the same time. A small run box will open. Type temp inside the box and press Enter. A folder will open showing many temporary files. Select everything inside and delete it. If some files do not delete, don't worry, just skip them. Now, repeat the same process again. Press Windows plus R once more, but this time type percent, temp percent, and hit enter. Another folder will appear with even more temporary files. Select them all and delete them as well. Again, if some files don't delete, it's totally fine. By doing this step, you remove a lot of junk data and free up valuable storage. This makes your PC run faster, gives more space for Roblox, and can improve FPS slightly while reducing random lag. Step 2. Improve Roblox performance. Using block strap and fast flag settings. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Next, we will use a special tool called block strap launcher along with fast flag settings to boost Roblox FPS. This tool helps you control Roblox settings more deeply than the normal app. First, download and install Block Strap Launcher from the FPS Boost Pack. After installation, open it and click on Configure Settings. This will show you different tabs with useful options. In the Integrations tab, you can turn on helpful features like Allow Multi-Instance Launching, which lets you open multiple Roblox windows at once. Query Server Location, which shows you the server country you are connected to. Show Game Activity and Show Reference Account, so your Discord friends can see which account and game you are using. Next, check the Bootstrapper tab. It has simple options like asking for confirmation before Roblox opens. These are not major but still useful. Now, move to the Mods tab. This is where you find the Mods folder where you can add custom textures, sounds, and more. Be careful here, only change what you understand. You can also enable fun features like Use Old Death Sound, mouse cursors, and old avatar editor background. The most important section is the Engine Settings tab. This controls how Roblox runs on your PC. Here, you can apply fast flags to boost FPS, reduce lag, and make your game feel smoother. From your FPS Boost Pack, open the Google Docs link labeled FPS. Press Ctrl plus C to copy all the fast flags. Go back to Blockstrap, click on Import JSON, and paste the fast flags you copied. This will add them instantly. Close and reopen Blockstrap, then launch Roblox. Play a game and test your FPS with these new settings. Later, we will compare this with Voidstrap. Step 3. Boost Roblox FPS using Voidstrap and Fast Flag settings. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we will try another tool called Voidstrap Launcher. It works in a similar way to Blockstrap, but has some extra features and can sometimes perform better. Download and install Voidstrap Launcher from the FPS Boost Pack. After installing, search for Voidstrap in Windows and open it. In the Settings tab, you'll see options like Player Message Logs. These are similar to Blockstrap, with a few extra features. Next, check the Deployment tab. This section is very useful. It includes cross-game teleportation, which lets you move between games. It also has its own version of multi-instance launching, which might be more stable than Blockstrap. Then, go to the Modifications tab, which looks similar to Blockstrap. It has options for custom sounds, old Roblox features, and more. The main difference in Voidstrap is the Fast Flag Editor. Here, every Fast Flag has a green check mark or red X to show which ones are preset and which are custom. This makes it easier to manage. You will also see options like Copy All Flags, Copy Better JSON, and Find Flag. Plus, there are profiles, so you can save different sets of fast flags. Paste your fast flags just like before. Use Import JSON, paste what you copied, and save it. 
Also, check the Fast Flag Settings tab, which includes ready-made flag settings for boosting FPS and lowering ping. Finally, check the Appearance and Shortcuts tabs. These are similar to Blockstrap, but Voidstrap also has an AI chat feature, still in beta, which may help with settings in the future. Once you're done, save everything, close Voidstrap, and launch Roblox. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Unpark CPU cores to make your processor work better for gaming. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU has many cores that act like small workers. Sometimes Windows puts these workers to sleep to save energy. This is called CPU parking, and it can slow down games like Roblox because not all cores are active. To fix this, open the Unpark CPU tool from your FPS Boost Pack. Right-click it and select Run as Administrator so it has full permission. The program will show all of your CPU cores. If some say parked, it means they are turned off. Click the Unpark button to activate all the CPU cores. Once active, your processor will be running at full strength. This makes Roblox and other games run faster, especially when there are lots of things happening in the game. By unparking your cores, you make sure your CPU always works at 100%. This gives you smoother FPS, faster reaction time, and less lag during gameplay. Step 5. Turn off telemetry to boost privacy and performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Windows runs a background feature called Telemetry, which collects data about your system. This uses your CPU, RAM, and sometimes your internet, which can slow down games. Open it and click on Apply Only Recommended Settings. If it asks to make a restore point, click Allow, so you can undo changes later if needed. This will turn off most unnecessary background tracking. If you notice something not working, like clipboard history, you can use Undo All Changes to reset. Turning this off reduces background tasks, giving more CPU and RAM for Roblox. That means smoother gameplay, fewer FPS drops, and a faster system overall. Step 6. Use a better power plan for gaming performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your PC's power plan decides how much power your CPU and GPU can use. If it is set to balanced mode, your CPU will not always use its full power, which is bad for gaming. To fix this, search Power in Windows and click on Choose a Power Plan. Change the setting from Balanced to High Performance. For the best results, enable Ultimate Performance Mode. To do this, copy the command from the video description. Open Command, prompt as Administrator, paste the command, and press Enter. You will see a message that Ultimate Performance has been added. Go back to Power Options and select it. Restart your PC so it works properly. This will force your CPU to always run at its maximum speed. It helps boost FPS, reduce lag, and keeps performance stable while playing Roblox. You're done! Roblox FPS is boosted. After following all these steps, Roblox should run much smoother, with higher FPS, less lag, and fewer stutters. Your PC will also feel faster in general.